Only the oldest living person here in the United States, probably the oldest in the world as well. Rebecca Lanier lived in Warrensville Heights until death claimed her at the age of 120. Leon Bibb got the chance to meet her a couple of times. A couple of times indeed, Lee. 120 was her age. She was a woman I interviewed twice. She died three days ago, filled with far more than a century of memories. A grieving family, yes, but also a family looking at the wonderment of very long life. Family matriarch Rebecca Lanier of Warrensville Heights lived to see 120. After a short illness, she died a few days ago. Mrs. Lanier, born in 1892, lived with her 62-year-old grandson. Last year on Mrs. Lanier's 119th, I interviewed her. How are you today? Well, I'm doing all right. You're doing okay. Yeah. Every year she celebrated her birthday. Now the family gathers planning a funeral for who was America's oldest person, perhaps oldest in the world. I know she was the oldest healthy person in the world. I, I ain't got no problem with that. I know that she got around until the last three weeks of her life. She said, everybody I know is dead. I said, yeah, you about the oldest person that I know alive, you know. Born before birth of the airplane, movies, the telephone, her birth came before blacks in the South had birth certificates, so the Guinness Book of World Records will not count her officially as the world's oldest. Until cancer was diagnosed a month ago, she took very few medicines and never drank alcohol. I said, Ma, did you ever drink? No, I never drank nothing. Rebecca Lanier lived in this Warrensville Heights house. Over the years, she received birthday greetings from the White House, Presidents Bush, Clinton, Obama. Though she had no official birth certificate, Social Security verified her birth as 1892, 120 years ago. Last year, we talked about her earliest memories. You did a lot of work, huh? Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah, work for white folks. Born in the South, the daughter of slaves, Rebecca Lanier died at age 120. Mrs. Lanier was born in South Point, Mississippi, and for years she lived with her grandson in Warrensville Heights, needing only a walker to get around when she was not traveling with the family in the family car. Rebecca Lanier was a great, great, great grandmother, whose oldest grandson is 72. Wow. Such a wonderful profile. Yeah, yeah. In your conversations with her, did she ever uh, give you a hint as to what her secret for longevity was? I says, Mrs. Lanier, what is the secret to your long life? She says, just keep living. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Some great genes as well. Yeah. yeah <laughs> right.